Hello, my name is Andrew Remillard, and welcome to my channel. I'm going to do a series of lessons on hymns for the upcoming Holy Week season. Uh, most of them are my favorites. The first one I'm going to do is Ah Holy Jesus. Uh, since I first learned it many, many years ago, it's been one of my, uh, what I believe is probably one of the most profound hymns of all Christian hymn hymnody. So, let us begin. One has to be very careful in this tune not to play too fast. And one of the primary characteristics of this is this constant sighing throughout the hymn. You can see it right in the very first measure, first, first phrase. The phrases are all ending on a descending note. phrase ends with a descending motion like that. So that is part of what gives the tune, the melody, that characteristic of pathos that's present. The next thing we should look at is the harmony that goes along with that. And when we look at harmonic activity, it's not, you don't necessarily need to be able to identify, well, that's a one chord, four chord, whatever. Listen to the in the inherent tension within the harmony. Since we're in F minor, that is without tension. We're no longer in F minor, so that has raised the tension a little bit. You hear the resolution of that. We actually didn't resolve into F minor, we resolved into A flat. So we have nothing, some, more, and that's a dominant where we're going. Back to F minor. More tension, more tension. We resolve it here into C major. Again, the tension grows. Resolving. That G is dissonant to the harmony. So that tenor part is very important. And the bass. tension for this resolution. Sometimes those inner parts are really what creates the harmonic movement. Again, from the You don't have to play them loud, but play them so we can be, hear them. F minor, now we have tension. This is just the same harmony. A flat chord, but if the top three notes are in the next position down. And it gets resolved here. The tenor part moving again. Tenor and alto. Again, those, inning, those inner moving parts are creating the harmonic tension that will come with that. So those are just some thoughts uh, on how you can add some expressiveness to this. Don't be in a hurry to play through it. Don't. It's a very slow piece. And I think if you allow a slow tempo, this, the in profoundness of the words, the text, oh, it, gives them, it gives it more time to sink in. And thank you. If you'd like to know more information about my channel, there is information in the description. And always, if you're on one of my videos, look in the description for information. If the text is available, it will be down there. If the hymn book that the music is drawn from is available, it will be down there. There's an addition to uh, links to other parts of my channel and my website. And have a nice day.